Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Eben, and today we're back here at Express Lube and Auto Repair, and we're gonna be tapping the rear transmission on this baby. And we got Jeff, our master technician here. And uh, this is the Fleetwood Storm model, F450 V10, 6.8 liter. Big dog. And it calls for the fuel efficient ATF, 100% synthetic, that's what we're gonna be putting in. And it's gonna take nine quarts. Well, we are gonna drain her down right now. Time to go ahead and drain her down. We got our 13 millimeter socket. All we do is loosen her up. Oh, that was easy. Pretty easy to crack loose. Should have about nine quarts of uh, ATF in here. And here we go. On the count of three, one, two, and three. And there she popped. Just a little teeny weeny bolt. Look how small. Looks pretty good too. All right, we're good to go. We're gonna let her drain Don. We're gonna go ahead and start taking off our bolts. We got our eight millimeter gun. Just stick her on like butter. Boom, like butter, easy as pie. All right, all we do is go around and take off all the bolts. All right, we got all our bolts off and here we go. We're gonna slowly slip her out. Slowly slip her on out. There she blows. There's our pan. Oh. Oh. Trying to show the pan, you get a little scare. <laughs> Woo! Now we're taking off the filter. And this is actually an eight millimeter bolt, just like the trans pan. So we take out our little bolt and it's like a little tripod. And it's super easy to take off. But yeah, there that drops. There's our one bolt. That's what she looks like. Now we're gonna take off this one. And now this filter just, this filter comes straight down. All right, good to go. All right, so now we're gonna pop off our trans filter. It's just a basic pressure fit. We got all the bolts off, you can see it. And now we just give it a little wiggle and it should come down and you got that little last scare, that little bit of fluid that comes out. Let's see. And there she blows. Awesome, super clean. And now all we do is grab a fresh filter and uh, with our fresh filter, all we do is pressure fit her in, throw the bolts on, clean up the pan and we're good. And uh, some bolts I dropped when I did it this is our makeshift uh, pan. You use this oil pan for a pack car MX-13 uh, 12 liter engine. It took 40 quarts of oil. So this is the oil pan we used. And now I'm just fingering around making sure I got all the bolts. And I think that's it. I think I dropped four of them. So now we're gonna go take this pan downstairs. We're gonna scrub it up. We're gonna reuse this gasket. We're gonna go ahead and uh, clean up the pan nice and good. And then it's time to go ahead and feel her up. All right, we got her down here. So now we're gonna go ahead and clean up our pan. Now this is what we call the magnet. So you'll see two clean finger. Go ahead and finger her up and take a look. So that's the metallic. This is a really unusually clean transmission. And I'm thinking that's because it's only got 8,000 miles on it, I think. I think that's what Jeff said it has on it when he drove it over here. So it's looking really good. So now all we do is use our little uh, so this is a uh, detergent, it's basically a degreaser. We go ahead and just clean her up. Boom. So all we're gonna do is hit our gasket, make sure our gasket's clean. The gasket's in great shape. And on these, uh, these vehicles, you actually reuse the gasket. So all we do is just clean her up. We're gonna go up there, just bolt her up the same way. You don't tighten it down very tight. Um, you can use a little quarter inch drive. You're gonna tighten about 12 pounds of torque, very light. And then uh, all we do is start feeling her up. All right, so we pressure fitted up our fresh uh, filter. It just pressure fits right in like butter. And now we're gonna bolt her up and tighten her up. And then we throw in the pan and we're good. Like I said, not real tight on the gasket, about 12 pounds of torque. You'll see I'm not even grabbing the end of the handle at all. And that's it. Just going around, spot checking her. It's time to feel her up. All right, it's that time to feel her up. 
we're gonna be using a little teeny weeny funnel. Take a look where the oil goes. It actually goes right in here. That's the actual dipstick where we yanked her out. So we're gonna stick this little funnel in, just like that. And now it's time to start pouring her in. So we're gonna be using our 100% synthetic AMS oil fuel efficient ATF. This flows with very low resistance, gets you better gas mileage. You're gonna have smoother, faster shifts, especially when it's cold. So a lot of people, they say even, you know, my car shifts slow when it's cold. Well, this is gonna make it shift a lot faster, even at uh, freezing conditions. You're good for double the severe service, high heat. So if you're taking one of these, you're towing a trailer, you're towing a car, puts a lot of pressure on that transmission. The best thing you can do is put that film strength between the gears, better gas mileage, longer life, faster shifts. Well, let's crack her open and start fueling her up. Let's do it. There we go. You're going to see the liquid cherry go in. Here we go. Right up in there. Ah, it's a dark cherry. Liquid cherry. And there she is. All right, there's a couple of different options. Uh, when you get the fuel efficient ATF, you can get it in the court or you can get it in the easy pack. Well, the easy pack's great because what you do is you trim the top, you go ahead and pop the safety seal right here on top, and then all you do is insert and squeeze her in. So definitely if you're doing this job, you're gonna wanna get this. Um, we actually, uh, unfortunately didn't get it, so uh, next time I know, but yeah, it'll make it so much easier to get in here. And then you can go way up under and get into that hole and not have to pour up here and it's actually cramping up my arm. It's messing my shoulder up trying to, yeah, I'm actually holding it like this, holding the funnel inside underneath there. So definitely get yourself the easy packs. It's definitely worth the money. All right. Well, start it up. Now, just one at a time, count to three, hit reverse. We're, we're jacked up. Yeah, we are. No, right. don't worry about just it. Keep my foot on the brake. Keep your foot on the brake. Yeah, foot on the brake. All right. Reverse. Ooh, look at that. That's fucking fancy. Wow, this is the first time that's doing a fancy. motor on. Wow. It auto drops. That's kind of cool. Now we're All right. Neutral. Drive. We're going through recycling the gears to circulate the fluid, right, Jeff? Yep. So I got seven quarts in. This calls for 8.9, so I did a little less to be safe, right? Yeah, absolutely. We can always right. add. Taking away is really difficult. All right. Now what? Drive. Uh, drop to drive. Count to three, four, count to three, go on and so forth. Four? Yep. Pull back, pull back. Cool. And then just slam it back into park and we're golden. Perfect. Now let's, uh, while it's in park, let's go outside and check our fluid level. Let's check. All right. Jeff's going to check the level. Whoa, I got to reach way in there for that yeah, stick. Yeah, I got some you know, damage to the arms doing the pouring. Have, have you ever seen how they check if a cow's pregnant? Huh. They're kind of going up to the shoulder blade. So I'm going to do the same thing. Are we pregnant here? Whoa. That's genius, Jeff. Oh, goodness. That's a fucking, that's a tall one. Yeah, it's a long one. That's a tall pour, buddy. <laughs> oh. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I feel like it's a magic trick pulling this like large of a stick. It's like a damn magic trick, Jeff. All right. Um, we're low. So we're check hot. Gosh, we're only a little bit low. I'm going to say one quart. One quart. One Throw quart. a quart in there, and then we'll recheck it one more That'll time. That'll make eight quarts. All right, let's put her in. All right, quart number eight going in. Here we go. Here's the move. Right, we're cruising here in the uh, beautiful uh, the rig, the home. It's like a full home, home away from home. <laughs> yeah. So we're coming up on Boulder Highway, and uh, we'll make a little right-hand turn and. 
we'll go right back to Tropicana. And so how many miles have you driven this thing so far? This one about 1,500. All right, and it feels pretty good? Oh yeah. And this is a 2017 with 8,323 8, miles. All right, 2017. So how does it feel? Very nice, nice and quiet. So it's a difference from before? Oh yes. All right, we can make a right right here on trough. Wow. Any difference with the shifting? Do you feel anything with that yet, would you say? Yeah, it seems to me much uh, much easier, much quieter. Shifts wow. Easier. Nice. Driving my Corvette. All right, yeah, just like <laughs> driving his Corvette. I actually met Dave in the uh, Corvette Club. So uh, yeah, so that pretty much sums it up. Check out the uh, transmission fluid change on uh, this. Also, we did the motor oil. We did both. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Thanks again, Dave. Really appreciate it. Same here. Thank you. All right, all right. We'll see ya. Cheers to protection, protection, protection.